on that. And the leadership of the National Assembly bulldozed its way to ensure passage of President Uhuru Kenyatta's amendments to the controversial Finance Bill 2018. During the morning session, members passed the Supplementary Appropriation Bill that included some austerity measures that were opposed by a section of members. Now, Speaker of the National Assembly, Justin Muturi, took charge of the committee of the whole house in a chaotic afternoon session and so passage of the presidential memorandum in a record of uh, 10 minutes. Now let's listen in to some of the suggestions to trim the 2018-2019 budget by 37 billion, even after members of parliament deferred on the cuts. It would be unreasonable to hit the budget that affects Kenyans. Outside there, for instance, when it comes to education, they solely depend on government and CDF for building of infrastructure in the schools. So when you attack it, then it means that you are not within the listening of the Kenyans. Honorable Speaker, I also saw the budget of the Teacher Service Commission affected. The, this country is lacking in so far as teachers' employment is concerned. And therefore, why would we go a step further to hit on areas that are required? And therefore, Mr. Speaker, I think that uh, the proposals before us are not good for Kenyans. And moving forward, I would also want to tell the House that I'm not happy when the leadership within the House directs the motion on this budget allocations and proposals to mean that if the House and the members' interests have been taken care of, then we can leave the rest of the Kenyans to suffer with the taxes. That impression was very, very wrong because outside there it will look like immediately we got what we thought was correct in terms of the CDF, in terms of other emoluments, then we left the ordinary monainji to suffer. I did hear um, from Honorable Mbadi and others that they had been, and also from the chair of the budget committee, that there had been an attempt by the National Treasury to do away with the National Government Affirmative Action Fund. And I want to say this in no uncertain terms to Henry Rotich. Don't you dare touch the National Government Affirmative Action Fund. If you do, you will be sending a message that this country does not care or that this government does not care for people living with disabilities, for orphans, for the vulnerable women and youth in our society. This country has, this government is one of the biggest in Africa. It has so many things that are put together today before this uh, current government, we didn't have CASs, but every CAS that comes in, comes in with a budget of over five million a month. If you multiply that by the number of ministries that we have, you have an over increase on expenditure in this country. That's the first thing that economists say, President, cut this first, so that we can save money for the country. Mr. Speaker, I would like to say that there are certain things when you cut, for example, if you remove TVET, the government has a deliberate program to empower Kenyans. Today you are saying, cut TVET. Areas like where I come from, we don't have enough teachers. You are saying reduce money for employing teachers. So where is this, what is the vision of the economy of this country? On the parliamentary budget, what we did, and this also needs to go out clearly, because I know this is likely to be picked. What we did was Treasury was, as opposed to other government ministries, Treasury wanted to reduce parliamentary budget by close to 30, 40 percent, for reasons we don't know. What we have done is, like all government departments, except judiciary, we have reduced O and M by 16% across the board. Parliament, executive, but parliament we were very careful. Just like executive, they are not touching emoluments. Because you can't touch salaries. We are also saying, parliament don't touch emoluments. So that is what we have done. There is nothing that we have done which is different from what is done for the executive. So I don't think there is anything to be ashamed of here. What we have done is just to rationalize, cut across the board O and M for both the executive and the, and the legislature, but on personal emoluments, cushion it for all the departments. 
All right, that is what transpired on the floor of the House yesterday as members of the National Assembly were debating on the uh, budget estimates uh, 2018. And uh, time to take another commercial break on KTN News Centre, 26 minutes past uh, 10 a.m. We still have a lot lined up for you.